Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. In this video, we're going to explore the navigation editor, and we're going to use this news template here as an example. So for this template, you can see these little items on the right side, and these are actually part of the navigation. So for a slider, you might normally see maybe like thumbnails toward the bottom. These are technically called tabs for slider revolution. So let's go ahead and change some of the styles, maybe add a background color here and change uh, some of the text color. So from the plugins main admin page, I'm going to click add slider template and then scroll down till we can find the news example. And that's right here, news gallery. Click the download, import slider from local or theme punch server. I'm going to choose online. And this will just take a few seconds, and then we'll have our news template imported. Okay, so here it is. And now let's just head over to uh, one of our pages. And just add this slider to the page real quick. So I'm going to click Rev Slider here. Select that. Update. And here's our home page. Here's our new slider. And you can see that uh, we have our navigation over here. And this is what we're going to be editing. Okay, so let's head back to where we have our slider imported. And if we head over to the slide editor for a second, where we can see all of our slides up here, there are actually two parts of uh, the navigation that are being pulled in from each individual slide. So the first is the title, and that's right here where you can see a study on happiness. So if we wanted to edit that, we could just go ahead and type something new. We could say a new study on happiness, and then click this button here, and that would save the slide's title. So if we were to head back over to our slider and reload it. We can see that this title here is now updated, a new study on happiness. So the next piece of information that's being pulled into the navigation is if we scroll down and go ahead and click slide info and then scroll down a bit, we can see description of slider. We can see here it says science says that women are generally happier. So this description is what's populated right here, right underneath the title. So we have for each slide, we have a title and a description, and that basically makes up the tab-based navigation for our slider. So let's just review this tab navigation real quick. If we head over to the slider settings, and we just head down to navigation, you can see we have lots of options here, arrows, bullets, tabs, thumbs. We want tabs. So we can see that uh, tabs are automatically enabled for this particular template. And there are lots of other options. Right now we have um, our background opacity set to zero. And our tab style is Arinian. Uh, visible tabs are currently set to three. The space between them is 10 pixels. We've got them at uh, vertical direction. Of course, that can be changed to horizontal if we wanted to. And then the tab sizes, which are basically your width, height, and minimum tab width. And also because for responsive sliders, sometimes you want to redesign your content a bit, we have the tabs hiding underneath a 778 pixel width. So basically anything uh, iPad, tablet, or below, the tabs will not be shown. So we can just go ahead and uh, test that real quick in our responsive design view. And we can see that as we hit that number, our tabs appear. As we go back down, our tabs disappear. And lastly, we have a position, and we have a horizontal offset of 30. Let's just go ahead and change this horizontal offset to 0. And now let's go ahead and add an opacity for our background color. And we'll leave this 
uh, actually it was set to transparent, so we'll set this to white. And then go ahead and set our opacity to 75. I'm going to save that, and let's just see how this will look real quick. Okay, so it's kind of how I want it to look, um, aside from the text color. But I want this background to sort of span the entire vertical area here. So let's head back, and here it is, Span Wrapper. We're going to set this to On. And then I think we need to add a little bit of padding. So that's right here, Wrapper Padding. So let's go ahead and add 20 pixels of padding. There we go. Probably could use a little more padding as well, uh, but you get the general idea of how I want to kind of set this up. So now that we've adjusted the background color here, obviously we need to adjust the text color because it doesn't show up very well now. So to do that, let's head over to the navigation editor. So back over to our slider revolution and from the main menu, click navigation editor. So inside the navigation editor, we have custom navigations and default navigations. Now we don't have any custom navigations set up and we're going to need to set one up in order to apply some custom styles for our new navigation. Now underneath the default navigations you can see all of the built-in navigation styles including Arrhenian which is the one that we're using for our tabs. And if we just hover over you can see a quick preview of that. So if I select this and then I scroll down a bit we can see the HTML that's being used for this particular tab style. You can see it has a class here for the title, a class for the description, and then this is very similar to what you would use for a post-based slider or any of our other special content sources such as Facebook, Twitter, where you would pull in a specific data for each slide based on the content source. So for this, our content source are our actual slides. So we're pulling in the title for each slide and the description for each slide. So if we scroll down a bit more and we click on CSS, we can see here we have some of our styles for this particular navigation style. Now the thing about it is the default navigation style can't be edited. So you can see if I were to try and edit this, it simply cannot be done. So what we have to do first is we have to duplicate this particular navigation style, then apply the duplicate to our slider, and then we'll be able to edit the duplicate. So let's go ahead and do that. If we scroll back up, we can see we have Arrhenian here. And if I click on this button here, this is going to duplicate this navigation style. And then if we scroll back up again, you can see under custom navigations we now have Arrhenian 1. So I'm going to click this little pencil here and rename it and call it My Custom Nav. Then click the pencil again and scroll to the bottom, click Save All Changes. So let's go ahead and apply the My Custom Nav style, which is essentially a complete duplicate of our original Arrhenian style, to our slider. So to do that, let's head back to the plugin's main admin page and head back to the settings and inside navigation, in the tabs, tab style, you can see My Custom Nav right here in the drop-down. So now I'm going to save that, and if we just test this real quick, we can see that even though we have a completely new style, it's just a copy of the one we were already using, and now we can go ahead and edit this. And Real quick, I just want to add some padding here because that's going to bug me. So let's see, how about 30? Okay. I think that's a little bit nicer. All right, so now let's head back to the navigation editor. And now that we have our My Custom Nav set up and uh, applied to our slider, if we go ahead 
and under the tabs column select edit and scroll down and you can notice that uh, the difference between custom and default here is these are just view which means that they're read-only cannot be edited but for our custom navigation that we set up we have edit options okay so we click the edit button and now we can scroll down and click on the CSS tab and so for a color for the title uh, let's go ahead and maybe just set this to black and now let's scroll down save the change okay so now we have black titles and for our descriptions maybe we can just set those to uh, a gray so let's head back to the CSS tab this is our description which is TP tab desk and we can see that this class name is applied right here in our markup for the description okay so let's change this to maybe fours okay so if I were a designer which I am not I'd probably come up with a much better color scheme here but you get the idea of how easily this can be changed so the last thing I wanted to show you is that if you go ahead and click this parameters you can see that we have lots of options for things that can be added here other than the slide title and the slide description so for example maybe we wanted to extend our navigation and not only have a title and a description but also maybe some additional piece of data so just as an example I'm gonna go ahead and replace this title here with parameter one so let's just delete this and select param one and then save the change and because we don't have param one populated for any of our slides this should now come up blank okay so it's just going to come up param one so let's head over to slider revolution and let's head into the slide editor and head into slide info and here we have parameter one my slide title max chars maybe we set this to 20 save the slide and now this should be populated here with my slide title so you can see there are a number of ways that you can pull in data not just from the title or the description but also the parameters here and you have the ability to create up to 10 parameters which really could you could get super creative with with all of these if you wanted to okay so that was navigation editor and uh, thanks for watching